Hello everybody, this is Chris from Acoustica Audio and today I'm going to present Sienna Sphere, a collaborative platform that you can use to share music with your friends and comment music with your friends. Most likely the people that you're working with if you're a producer, in order to uh, have instant feedback on the tracks that you're making. And let's dive into the main features of Sienna Sphere. So I'm just going here on the screen, I'm going to create a group which is the basic container of this application. So you go in here, you create a group. I'm just gonna call it test group. There you go, like this, like so. Gonna go here inside. And inside of a group, I'm going to create a new project. So I'm gonna go here on new project and I'm gonna give it a name and it's gonna be my test project because we have a lot of fantasy over here. So this guy is gonna be created. And here is the first thing that you can see. Um, you can use our space, our own cloud storage, or you can utilize your own Dropbox account or your Google Drive account in case you have extra gigabytes over there. And um, over here, I'm just going to upload a file, which is a sample file inside of this computer. I think I'm gonna find it over here. Let me see, desktop, sample audio, here you go. So then I'm gonna click on next. This is going to upload our track finish and our project is going to be created. Uh, it will be uploaded and a little nice waveform thumbnail is going to be generated which is the one that you can see right here. So this is it. Your song is on Sienna Sphere and you can just click it over here and you can play it. You can listen to it with your space bar. Um, you can see um, uh, different controls for your uh, visualizations. So you have a spectrogram, it's something that you might find useful, which is over here. Um, you can also utilize a meter, which is this thing here. And when it plays your music, you have this fancy little thing going on over there. So one thing that you will notice over here is that you can write comments right on the bottom right corner of your screen. And so I'm gonna just type in this is a comment. There you go. And I have a time stamped comment, which is right here with my logo right there, which is the one of my username. And I can also make a range comment. I can just move it wherever I want. And over here, I'm going to type this part of the song is a little too tough, which is one of those generic names that let's say tough. There you go. And, um, and here you can already see one of the main features of this uh, software. You can write comments on audio. And um, right here up on the left, you, you see a drop down where you can find all the different versions of the um, songs that you will be posting. Why? Because uh, this software, I can go back here. Sienna allows the uh, utilization of versions. You can, you can actually version uh, different parts of your project and I can add a new version over here, which because I'm lazy, I'm just going to use the same file over there. I'm just gonna copy it with a different name and it's gonna be the copy right here. And I'm going to publish it and that's gonna be my second version. It's right there. It's gonna create its beautiful little thumbnail right there. And so I can open the second version of the file. Why? Because of course a track evolves. Uh, we call them projects over here and a project can evolve and it's supposed to have more versions. So this is one important feature. You can use versioning right here. So I can just toggle between the first version and the second version right there. So if I wanna go back, I always take my back button. And this is my project. I can add new songs uh, to my project. I can go right, right here uh, to my group, pardon me. So I'm gonna write down test project two right there and I can add another file and I'm still going to use the same file because I'm lazy and it's just for this demo purpose. I'm just gonna go with the same file and just call it underscore different. There you go. And uh, now it's going to load a new project right there and it's the same. Now uh, I can use these important features like search. I can write down number two and it's just gonna show me the second one. I can sort my projects right here between newest and alphabetically and I can use filters. And um, there are some important things that, I, that you can see already here. 
I can share groups and I can share projects. That means that I can invite people. How? Pretty simple. I just click on share project, which is just going to share this one song. If I share the group, I'm going to share all of the songs that you can see in here. So sharing is pretty easy. You just copy this link and you just give it to someone. In this case, I'm going to use our company's email address, which is right here. I'm going to log in. Oops, my bad, my mistake. I'm just going to go in here. I'm going to type in Sienna Sphere right there. I'm going to sign in. And I'm in. This is an already, uh, an already um, shared project of which I'm a viewer inside because there are permissions. You can be the owner of a project or you can be the viewer of a project. So I'm going to use this link right there. And what's going to happen now is that I've been invited to test project two. So I'm going to accept this invitation and just wait for the person who invited me to accept my acceptance. So here I'm going to have a notification right here on the little bell on the upper right corner of the screen. Click this one and confirm. Once this has been confirmed, I can go in my groups right there. And in this project, only in the project, I've been, uh, I have invited Acoustica Audio. And if I go inside of Acoustica Audio and I just go in my recent projects, I can see that I have Test Project 2, which is right here. And I can just click here and listen to the music. I can see the comments which have been previously inserted by the other. Oh, no, I, they weren't inserted in test project two, but I'm going to do it right now. So you can see how it works in real time, which is a pretty neat feature. I can go in here, there, and I can write, this is a graceful part. I don't know if I typed that right. I think it goes with one L. Graceful part of the song. There you go. And it's right here. And you can also answer these comments right going here and you can reply. I think so too. Oh, pardon me. I can hardly see. There you go. And, um, and here I'm actually commenting two different accounts. Uh, they're both viewing the same uh, song and they're both commenting on the same song. So other things that you can do, you can share an entire group. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So um, I'm going to use this account. I will go right here onto the group. And this is the groups view. So uh, the one where we created a group right at the beginning of the video. I'm going to press share right there. I'm going to copy this link and I will open it up right here. Press enter. And I've been invited to a group called test group. So I'm going to accept this invitation. Awesome. And I already can see the notification right here on the other account. I'm going to confirm right here. So now this signal is going to go into space and is going to add a new group, which you can see on the screen right here. So it's this test group. I've been added over here. And automatically, I'm going to be able to see all projects inside of said group. So it's these two projects in particular. So all in all, these are all the main features of this um, product. You can already see over here that you have the owner and the viewer because the user which has been invited into a group by default is just a viewer. I can grant him extra permissions and I can make him actually a, um, an editor by clicking this. And the user has been automatically granted the uh, editor uh, capabilities and you see automatically the permission was edited and uh, this little tag over here became pink or lila or whatever. And this guy is an editor. Uh, other things that you can check out in this interface are the uh, settings. You can go in here and you can see how much space you've been using. We're granting you 30 gigabytes of uh, free space. So hopefully those are supposed to be enough. If you need more space, uh, you can um, buy one of our uh, plans, starting with the essential plan, which grants you one terabyte of space per user. 
So uh, there are going to be different features which we will release in the near future. Uh, those features are going to be uh, undisclosed. No, I'm just joking. They're on a, a website that's going to be in the comments below the video uh, and in the description as well. Uh, this, um, this application will also have a studio plan which will give you uh, three terabytes of space. That's pretty much. And uh, you're going to have that and many other cool features like uh, you will be able to chat in real time, like when you're on Zoom or all those other products, fancy products, but you will have a video chat and real time high quality audio streaming um, with the other people that you've invited inside of a uh, group or a project. You can actually do that. You will be able to do that. And you will also be able to do um, A-B testing, which is another uh, cool feature. But um, let's still dive in a couple of cool things that you can do with this guy over here. So if I click on a project, you can see right up here there are little three dots. And these are some extra features that you can uh, use when you click on them. You have notes, so you can just write notes over here. Then you can export this audio to your Google Drive or Dropbox extra space. And um, this will give you the possibility to um, back up your music over there. And uh, I'm going to do a little test right now. I'm going to, let's see, this thing is going to go directly on my Google Drive and I'm going to export it right there. There you go. I'm going to select a folder and I will export it inside my piano concert folder. And that's it, it's been exported. If I go on Google Drive, I'm definitely gonna find a file over there. Um, I can also utilize Dropbox, but to do so, I will have to link my Dropbox account, which is something I can do from the settings. And I go right here, I just link it. And uh, this is gonna bring me to a beautiful window where I can say I'm going to continue as such. I'm just going to do that and that. There we go, just wait for a while, and I'm right here. Now, if I click here, and for instance, I create a new version, and I click on Dropbox, I can navigate my files there inside. And so I can create a new version with one of the files from my Dropbox account. That's pretty straightforward, pretty fast. Another thing that you can do is you can link your Aquarius account with Sienna. You can do this for two main reasons. Well, of course, if you have an Aquarius uh, account, it's easier. Uh, because when you buy a subscription, you are going to, you're going to be buying it on our platform. Therefore, um, you will need an Aquarius account inside of Siena in order to use the subscription you have purchased. Um, if you're one of the lucky users that has an iPhone, you can also utilize Siena Sphere from your iPhone by going inside the store, uh, the app store in your iPhone and looking for Siena Sphere, you will find the application that you can use to view your projects directly from your mobile phone. That's pretty handy if you're traveling and if you don't want to uh, use the web view because Sienna Sphere also works via web on a mobile phone. It's supposed to be responsive. And um, hope you enjoy the app as well. It allows you to draw as well on the waveform, which is pretty neat as well in case you don't want to type anything. This is all for today. Up to next time. Peace, guys. Hope you enjoy this thing.